الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد طب القلوب ودوائها وعافية الأبدان وشفائها ونور الأبصار وضيائها وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم اللهم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لسان يفقه قولي So inshallah ta'ala we will be continuing with the journey of Isra and Mi'raj and I mentioned in the previous dars have Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this journey of Isra observed and witnessed certain similitudes that were shown to him in relation to certain people uh, uh, in regards to the sins that they have committed the punishments were shown to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam so in the narration further it's mentioned when he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam travels uh, he comes to a valley فَوَجَدَ رِيحًا طَيِّبَةً بَارِدَةً وَرِيحًا مِسْكِنْ the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam finds a very pleasant cold fragranced a smell coming from this valley was sami'a sawtan and he hears a sound he says to jibril alayhi salam oh jibril what is this jibril alayhi salam says hadha sawtul janna this is the sound of janna janna is calling to rabb azza wa jal i'tini bima wa'attani oh allah give to me what you have promised me فَقَدْ كَسُرَتْ غَرَفِي وَاسْتَبْرَقِي وَحَرِيرِي وَسُنْدُسِي وَعَبَقَرِي وَلُؤْلُؤِي وَمَرْجَانِي وَفِدَّتِي وَذَهَبِي وَأَكْوَابِي وَصَحَافِي وَبَارِيقِي وَمَرَاكِبِي وَعَصَلِي وَمَاءِي وَلَبَنِي وَخَمَرِي Jannah is calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jannah is saying of Allah, give to me what you have promised me. I have so many inamat bounties within me. Waiting for the ones who are going to be living in me, who are going to be residing within me. So Jannah mentions the bounties, the heavenly garments made of silk and wool, its emeralds and its pearls, its gold and silver, its cups that people will be drinking in, and the honey, the waters of Jannah, the milk of Jannah, the wine of Jannah. فَآتِنِي مَا وَعَدْتَنِي Allah, give to me, bring to me what you have promised me. Jibreel alayhi salam says, Laka kullu muslimin wa muslimatin wa mu'minin wa mu'minatin. The four jannah is every Muslim man, every Muslim woman, every believing man, every believing woman. These are the individuals who will be given this reward of entering into jannah and living in jannah. This ajr and reward will be for these people who submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qalat raditu. Jannah says, I am pleased with this. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then says that he further travels and he comes to a valley. فَسَمِعَ صَوْتًا مُنْكَرًا The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hears a sound which is disliked. وَوَجَدَ رِيحًا مُنْتَنَةً And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam smells a smell which is impure. A smell which is disliked. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam says to Jibreel alayhi salam, O oh, Jibreel, what is this? Jibreel alayhi salam says, Hadha sawtu jahannam. This is the smell of Jahannam. And Jahannam is calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rabb, Atini ma wa'attani. Ya Allah, bring to me what you have promised me. فَلَقَدْ كَسُرَتْ صَلَاسِلِي وَأَغْلَالِي وَسَعِيرِي وَحَمِيمِي وَضَرِيعِي وَغَسَّاقِي وَعَذَابِي وَقَدْ بَعُدَ قَعْرِي وَاشْتَدَّ حُرِّي Jahannam says to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Wallah bring to me what you have promised to me Indeed my shackles and chains are in abundance وَسَعِيرِي My heat and my burning and my pain is in abundance 
wadari'i, the plants and trees of thorns and nettles in me are in abundance, waqassaqi, the, 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 the impurity that pulls out of the flesh of the people that reside in Jahannam, wa'adhabi, my punishment, indeed my heat is blazing. But he is becoming more fierce. فَآتِنِي مَا وَعَدْتَنِي Oh Allah, give to me, give to me the ones that you have promised me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives this reply. Jibreel alayhi salam says, لَكَ كُلُّ مُشْرِكْ وَمُشْرِكَ وَكَافِرْ وَكَافِرَ وَكُلُّ خَبِيسْ وَخَبِيثَ وَكُلُّ جَبَّارٍ لَا يُؤْمِنُ بِيَوْمِ الْحِسَابِ For you is going to be every mushrik, the one who associated a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the shirk, whether it's a man or woman, the one who done kufr, man or woman, the one who is khabith, impure, physically and spiritually, man or woman, the one who did not believe in the akhirah, he did not believe in the day of reckoning. Jahannam will say, Raditu. Yeah, I am pleased with this. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam then says, he came to Baytul Maqdas. He came to the Holy Land of Masjid Al-Aqsa. And he sallallahu alayhi wasallam says that he tied his animal in the circle where the other animals, the buraq, he tied the buraq in the circle where the other anbiya alayhim salatu was salam tied their animals. And he sallallahu alayhi wasallam entered the masjid and they prayed. And then the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam conversed with the companion, uh, with the anbiya alayhim salatu was salam who were present. So he sallallahu alayhi wasallam says, I met Arwah al-Anbiya, the souls of the Anbiya alayhim as-salatu was salam fa asnu ala rabbihim, they praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amongst them was Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ibrahim alayhi salam praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him his khalil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him mulkan azim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a ummah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Sayyiduna Ibrahim alayhi salam from the fire and how he made the fire become cold for Sayyiduna Ibrahim alayhi salam and a form of comfort for Sayyiduna Ibrahim alayhi salam. He praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this ni'mah, for this bounty which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon him. And then Sayyiduna Musa alayhi salam. He praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says all praises for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave me the privilege of talking, conversing with him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the Banu Israel najat on my hands from the Pharaoh. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made my nation such that it guides people upon haq and it does justice by ruling upon that haq. Then the Prophet Dawood alayhi salam came forward. He praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says all praises for Allah who has given me mulkan azim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me the knowledge of the zabur. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala softened for me iron. وَصَخْرَ لِيَ الْجِبَالَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned away the direction of the mountains from me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَأَعْطَانِ الْحِكْمَةَ وَفَصْلَ الْخِتَابِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me hikmah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me eloquence in khitab in speaking. Then Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam came forward. Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he says, Allah, all praises for you, that you changed the direction of wind for me. You changed the direction of shayateen for me. The shayateen became such that they be obedient. Whatever I tell them to do, they do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught me the language of the, the, the birds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me the language of animals. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me an army from the jinn and the ins and the birds. وَفَضَّلَنِي عَلَىٰ كَثِيرٍ مِّنْ عِبَادِهِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me many virtues and blessings from amongst the ibad, the ones who believe in him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not given these to anyone else but me. Sayyiduna Isa alayhi salam came forward then. Sayyiduna Isa alayhi salam praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says, Oh Allah, I thank you, I praise you. Glory be to you that you have made me your kalima. And you have made me the example like the example of Sayyiduna Adam alayhi salam. You have made me like Sayyiduna Adam alayhi salam, meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Sayyiduna Adam alayhi salam without a father. And then Sayyiduna Isa alayhi salam says, you have taught me the book, you have taught me hikmah, Tawrat, Injil, and you made me such that I can create uh, from uh, mud and clay uh, a bird and I blow into him and he comes to life bi'ithnillah through your permission and I heal the ones who are ill, I heal the ones who are blind. 
I give life to the dead bi iznihi meaning with the is in the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa rafa'ani aw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you elevated me in the way that you take, took me to the heavens wa tahharani and you purified me you protected me and my mother from the shaitan and the shaitan has no way upon us the rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gives this short khutbah sermon he says kullukum asna ala rabbihi wa inni musni ala rabbi every single one of you praised his lord now i will praise my lord the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says alhamdulillahi alladhi arsalani rahmatan lil alamin wa kafatan lin nas wa bashiran wa nadhira wa anzala alayya al furqana fi bayana li kulli shay the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam begins to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh Allah, you sent me as rahmah, mercy for the entire mankind. You sent me complete for the entire mankind as a bashir and a nazir, the one who gives glad tidings and the one who wounds from your punishment. Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you uh, gave to me the furqan, the criterion in which there is a clear uh, understanding for every single thing you gave me an ummah which is the best of nations best of nations to come upon earth you have made my ummah a median you have made my ummah from amongst the awwaleen and the akhareen you have opened my heart you have taken away wizard from me you have increased my dhikr elevated my dhikr exalted my dhikr you have made me the conqueror you have made me the end meaning the khatim the seal فقال ابراهيم عليه السلام بهذا فضلكم محمد this is you which is our muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then says jibril alayhi salam bought three classes so in some narrations you find two like i previously did mention so different accounts uh, some in detail some in brief have maybe been, have been mentioned from different companions alayhim ridwan so in this is mentioned the three utensils were bought pots of water uh, glasses of water were bought uh, glasses sorry were bought uh, to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam one had water the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam drank some from it and left it then the one with milk was presented to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam drank from that and then he was full the third one was presented to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam which had khamar wine the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam did not drink from that the angel jibril alayhi salam says to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam this khamar has become haram for your ummah yeah if you had drank from this then very few of your ummatis would have done your ittiba and followed you the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam then says after this the silsila of uruj happened where rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam uh, traveled to the heavens the samawat so he sallallahu alayhi wasallam says that when he came to the first heaven he sallallahu alayhi wasallam uh, was with jibril alayhi salam jibril alayhi salam seek permission and when permission was granted the malaika of the first heaven welcomed rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama on the first heaven he sallallahu alayhi wasallam saw he sallallahu alayhi wasallam saw rajulin huwa bi rajulin tam al khalq lam yanqus min khalqihi shay kama yanqus min khalq al insan ala yaminihi bab yakhruju minhu reeh tayyibatun wa ala shimalihi bab yakhruju minhu reeh khabisatun that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw a man who was complete in his creation meaning there was nothing deficient about him like the way that you find in some people he was complete pure unique upon his right side there was a door and from that door you would smell a beautiful clean fragrance coming and on his left side there was a door and you would see that uh, you, you would smell a khabis a disliked fragrance coming إذا نظر إلى باب إلى الباب الذي عن يمينه الضاحك واستبشرا that when this man would look towards the right he would become pleased and happy when he would look towards the left he would cry and he would become sad the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم asked جبريل عليه السلام من هذا قال هذا أبوك آدم who is this جبريل عليه السلام says this is your father آدم عليه السلام this door towards the right is the door from Jannah when he looks towards it he sees that his ضريت the one was obedient yeah from his offspring they enter it and he becomes pleased with this. On the left side, this is the door of Jahannam. He sees from his offsprings those 
who were disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not follow the way of Haq and they've been placed into that and he becomes sad when he sees this. Then after this, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to the second heaven, second, samawa, uh, second from amongst the samawat and the same way permission was seeked, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was welcomed and in this Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sees a man and this man had been given superiority upon the entire mankind when it comes to beauty and his beauty was such it's like you would see the full moon amidst the stars so you would see how beautiful and outstanding the moon is amongst the stars so he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Jibreel alayhi salam, who is this Jibreel alayhi salam says, this is your brother Yusuf alayhi salam. Then the Messenger sallallahu alayhi salam came to the third heaven and he sallallahu alayhi salam is welcome. And in this heaven he sees Isa alayhi salam and Yahya alayhi salam. So when he's informed regarding them, uh, in some of the hadith, the description has been given how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam described Isa alayhi salam and how he described Yahya alayhi salam and then he sallallahu alayhi salam went to the fourth heaven when he came to the fourth heaven he sallallahu alayhi salam met with, uh, the, uh, uh, with the prophet Sayyiduna Idris alayhi salam and then after this the messenger sallallahu alayhi salam went to the fifth heaven when he came to the fifth heaven he sallallahu alayhi salam saw that there is a man jalis and wahawlahu qawmun yaqussu alayhim he saw a man and around him was a group of people seated and he was telling them certain accounts of stories and events Jibreel salam says these people who are around him these are the Banu Israel and this is the Prophet Harun salam. then the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam came to the sixth heaven and he was welcomed and in the sixth heaven he sallallahu alayhi wasallam sees a man jalisun fajawazahu fabakiya rajulu a man and he's sitting and he's crying Jibreel alayhi salam says this is Musa alayhi salam he says why does Musa alayhi salam cry he says yaza'amu banu israel an yakramu bani adam he says that he thinks that the banu israel considers him to be the most honorable most virtuous amongst the entire children of Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam but he says that one came after him, referring to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one who came after him in the Akhirah will have sabaqat upon him, will come before him. This is the maqam and the martaba that is given to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then in the seventh heaven, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he enters, he sees a man sitting at the doors of Jannah, ala kursiyin, upon a chair. And around him is a group of people seated with beautiful white faces. And some from amongst them are such that alwanuhum shay, that fi alwanihim shay, that in their color, in their complexion, in their uh, uh, faces, you could see something. Those people stood from amongst the group who had some sort of uh, a thing in their face. نهرن, and they entered a nahar. A river, a stream. So they washed themselves, and when they came out of that stream, the impurity had separated from their color, or, or that thing had separated from their color. color. Then they entered a second stream. And when they entered the second stream and they came out of the second stream, then what was left further of that thing in their complexion and in their color, that was also dissolved and it went away. Then they entered the third stream. And when they came out of the third stream, they were as if like they were, uh, 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 they were like their companions. The ones with the beautiful faces were no, uh, uh, had nothing uh, in the color of the face or in the complexion. So this is something which is mentioned in this narration that happened on the seventh heaven. Jibreel 
told the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that this is your father Sayyiduna Ibrahim Alayhi Salam. And those who had nothing uh, in their faces, who were pure in complexion, those are those people who did not clothe their Iman with zulm oppression, meaning that there was, the Iman was pure. وَأَمَّا هَؤُلَاءِ الَّذِينَ فِي أَلْوَانِهِمْ شَيْءٍ فَقَوْمٌ خَلَّتُوا عَمَلًا صالح صَالِحًا وَآخْرَ سَيِّئًا فَتَابُوا فَتَابَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ As for the ones who had something in their complexion and in their color, that is that nation which diluted the amal salih with uh, amal which was uh, uh, disobedient, meaning uh, was sinful things. But they repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted their repentance. وَأَمَّا anhar, As for the streams, the first one was the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second one is the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third one is سَقَاهُمْ رَبُّهُمْ شَرَابًا tahura. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quenched their thirst with a heavenly drink. So they went through the stream of rahmah. They went through the stream of ni'mah. And now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has purified them with the drinks of heaven. Then the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to Sidratul Muntaha, yeah, the low tree. And the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that he is shajaratun takhruj min asliha anhar. That is a tree that from his asl, his roots, you see streams of water coming, clear water and a stream of milk coming and it's ta'am. Its taste will never change. And then you see a stream coming from it of uh, khamar, wine, which will be pleasing to the ones who drink it. And you have a stream coming from it of asal, musaffa, of pure honey. وَهِيَ شَجَرَةٌ يَسِيرُ رَاكِبْ فِي ذِلِّيَ سَبْعِينَ عَامًا It is such a tree that if one was to travel, a traveler on a horse, a rider, was to travel in his shade, it would take him 70 years to pass through it. وَالْوَرَقَةُ مِنْهَا مُغَطِّيَةً لِلْعُمَّةِ كُلِّهَا فَغَشِيهَا نُورُ الْخَلَاءِ نُورُ الْخَالِقِ وَغَشِيَتْهَا الْمَلَائِكَةُ أَمْثَالَ الْغُرْبَانِ He صلى الله عليه وسلم says that the low tree its leaves are so huge that they would surround, yeah? they would encompass the entire ummah. So there are narrations that you would find also why was the low tree yeah, specific, why was this the specific tree in Sidratul Muntaha? So uh, uh, in relation to Sayyidina Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala, you find uh, words where uh, Sayyidina Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala said that the low tree is because uh, when one looks at the leaves of this tree, it's something that you would admire, it's something that you have an incline, the beauty of it. And the same way the fruits of the low tree are very sweet. So because of this description, maybe this is the reason why the low tree was chosen. So otherwise, there are other things that ulama have mentioned in regards to the low tree as well. So this in this way is a blessed tree. So Sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam then says that surrounding the low tree was the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels were around the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like the way you see tree uh, you would see the birds all come onto one place so he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then says that he spoke and conversed with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says oh Muhammad ask Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that you chose Ibrahim alayhi salam as your khalil. Yeah? And you granted him a mulk and azim. And you spoke with Musa alayhi salam. And you gave Dawood a mulk and azim. And you gave Dawood alayhi salam mulk and azim. And you softened for him uh, the iron. You changed the direction of the mountains for him. And you gave Sulaiman alayhi salam a mulk. Yeah, then no one can have after him. وَعَلَّمْتَ عِيسَ التَّوْرَاتَ وَالْإِنْجِيلَ وَجَعَلْتَهُ يُبْرِئُ الْأَكْمَهَ وَلَا بَرَصَ وَيُحْيِي الْمَوْتَ بِإِذْنِكَ That you taught Sayyidina Isa the Torah, the Injil, you made him such that he can cure 
the leper, he could cure the one who is blind from uh, birth, he can give life to the dead, be iznika with your permission. You saved him and his mother, protected them from the shaitan. The shaitan can have no way upon both of them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, اِتَّخَذْتُكَ خَلِيلًا وَحَبِيبًا If I have chosen Sayyiduna uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam as my Khalil, then I make you my Khalil wa Habib and my Habib. Wa huwa maktubun fi tawrat Habibur Rahman. And it is written in the Tawrat, it is written in the Tawrat that you are the Habib of Ar Rahman. Wa arsal tuka ila nasi kafatan bashiratan wa nadira. I have sent you incomplete for the entire mankind as a Bashir, the one who gives glad tidings, the one who wants on the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I have opened your chest for you, opened your heart for you. Wa rafa' وَرَفَعْتُ لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ And I elevate your remembrance. فَلَا أُذْكَرُ I will not be remembered إِلَّا ذُكِرْتَ مَعِي I will not be remembered but your dhikr will be done with mine. So like the way when we say the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have the dhikr of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's the same way you find لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ The da'wah is incomplete with that. The claim is incomplete with that. The da'wah, the claim is incomplete without the dalil, which is Sayyiduna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa If you do the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you do the zikr of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Furthermore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I have given you a nation which is the best of nations. I have made your ummah a median. I have made your nation from amongst the awaleen and the akhireen. I have made your ummah such لا تجوز لهم لا تجوز لهم خطية حتى يشهدوا أنك عبدي ورسولي. The day I've made your ummah such that they testify that you are my abd and my rasul. I've made your ummah such a nation. قلوب أقوام قلوبهم أنا جيلهم. Yeah, that their hearts are of the book, meaning that the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is given this blessing. In the prior nations you didn't find this. The Hufaz that we have, the ones who have memorized the book and the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is a miracle of this Ummah. This is a miracle that is given to this Ummah. This is a blessing which has been given to the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala further says to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that I've given you the Sab al-Mathani, I've given you the Khwatim of Surah al-Baqarah, the end verses of Surah al-Baqarah, I have given you a kanz from beneath my arsh and no Nabi has been given this before. I have given you the kawthar. I have given you seven, uh, eight things. Islam, hijra, jihad, salah, sadqa, sawm, ramadan and enjoining good and forbidding the evil. I have given you, I have made you a fatih and I have made you the khatim. Yeah, the one who will conquer the hearts of people, the one who will conquer the land and spread Islam, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are the seal of prophethood. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then accepts this. He praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he says, Oh Allah, you are the one who has made me rahmatan lil alamin. You are the one who has sent me as a bashir and as a nazir. You are the one who has placed a ru'b, fear in the hearts of my enemies. Yeah. You are the one who has made those things halal for me that you didn't make for previous nations. You are the one who has made the masjid, the earth, a masjid for me and a place of purity for me. You are the one who has given me fawatihil kalim wa khawatimahu wa jama'ahu wa jawami'ahu. You are the one who has granted me eloquency in speech, the khawatim of speech, the jawami of speech. You are the one who has presented to me my ummah in a state that they are tabi and they are matbu. They are the ones who will follow and the ones who will be followed. Even though I see that my nation will be meeting with a group of men yanta'iluna shara that the shoes will be made out of. He waraitum atu ala qawmin arad al wajhi sighar al ayun that I will see that my ummah will face a group of people that the faces will be wide and they were small eyes. This is referring to those other hadiths that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has mentioned also of the group of people that we call fitna. So some of the scholars have mentioned this is referring to the Mongols. And then after this, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was given the gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the gift of salah. So this initially was 50 and then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa came back 
Musa alayhi salam said to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi salam that I insist that you go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you say that your ummah cannot read 50 prayers. Yeah, this is something for us to think about. Where is five prayers and where is 50 prayers? We find it difficult to establish five prayers. Imagine if we did have 50 prayers in us. So this is a big uh, mercy and a, a form of rahmah and grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon the ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi sallam that he gave us five prayers but still will give us the reward of 50 prayers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to always remember these events that occurred in the Isra Mi'raj of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to establish our prayer, the gift that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi sallam brought back to the ummah in the correct way. Correct way meaning that we learn how to establish our prayer the right way. We understand the rules and regulations of prayer, what validates our prayer, what invalidates our prayer, etc. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who always seek knowledge because this is the best way. Yeah. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said uh, to a man and woman who wants an elderly man and woman who came and accepted Islam. They seek advice that what should they do? The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said seek knowledge. This is the best way when a person makes himself a talib ul ilm, a seeker of knowledge, every time engaged in books, every time learning about the Quran, every time he wants to learn something about hadith or Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, everything which evolves around Islam, he's always trying to educate himself on that base. He's a talib ul ilm. And the one who is a talib ul ilm, when he dies, he dies fi sabilillah. This is the best way of living your life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to remember what's been mentioned, act upon it and pass it on to other brothers and sisters.